Hey there dragons, I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Gabby. Today is May 5th and you're watching Dragon TV. This week's sponsors are Ledwell, Red River Federal Credit Union, and Eternal Spa and Beauty. Thank you so much sponsors. Wow, Elizabeth, it's been a great year in DTV. It really has. Let's take a look at our senior recap from our trip to Six Flags. Thanks, Ms. Piercy. Hey, guys. Elizabeth? Yes, yeah. We're going to Six Flags. Valley? Hi. See how excited are you? I'm gonna poop my beans. I'm so excited. <laughs> We're never gonna guess who's never been to Six Flags. Me! Thanks, Miss Piercy. We had a great time. So, now that we're graduating, should we like maybe figure out if we're actually smarter than a fifth grader? I mean, that might be a good idea so we can get our diplomas at the end of the year. Well, let's take a look at how everyone else did. First answer was Vincent Prango, and I'm going to stick with it. Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci. Uh, Van Gogh. <laughs> it's one of them. No, Picasso. Uh, da Vinci. Leonardo da not the <laughs> Da Vinci. Da Vin Three. Two yards. If two yards are, or if a yard's three feet, right? Like, three times twelve. Uh, how many feet are in a yard? Thirty-six. Seventy, no. Seventy-two. Thirty-six times two. Okay, so a yard is three feet, so that would be seventy-two. 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 Oh, yikes. <laughs> like, August. <laughs> Eight. October. November. October. September. That's close. Called the thigh bone. The femur. Huh? <laughs> no, I'm trying to. Uh, tibia. T tibia. Femur. I don't know. Can I get some better questions? <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. Florida? Alaska? Uh, Florida. I really don't know that one. Maine. <laughs> Maine doesn't actually exist. Oh, Normandy. What is D-Day? Normandy. Normandy Beach in France. I'm definitely not smarter than a fifth grader. <laughs> 
Can I get a question? Hey, Ram Lincoln. Alexander Hamilton. Oh no. Uh, Lincoln? Okay. <laughs> George Washington. Hey, Miss Bernie. Hey, yo. Hey, bro. Hey, yo, bro. Let's take a look at this Ayo hey, Bro video, bro. Okay, bro. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Salt and pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Hanging pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, rap attack Mr. Magic <laughs> Molly Mall. We'll get out of y'all's hair so you can get in the Okay, sounds great. Hey, bro. Hey bro. Hey bro. They're inventing an air freshener that's mind controlled. It makes sense when you think about it. No. It doesn't. Like, it's like a money. Like sense. Like no, a, not that sense. Got fired from my job as a taxi driver. Turns out customers don't like it when you go the extra mile. Where was King David's temple located? Next to his ear. Okay. My dad died when we couldn't remember his blood type. And the whole time he was just screaming, be positive, be positive. And it was really hard when he was on his way out. That is tragic. Do seagulls only fly over the sea? Seagulls. No, because if they flew over the bay, they'd be bagels. <clears throat> when I was a kid, my dad got fired from being a road worker. I couldn't believe it, but when I got home, all the signs were there. I said that wrong. I forgot to say he got fired for theft. He got fired for theft. <laughs> that was pretty A, bro. Bro? Rap, bro? Baseball has had a great season this year. We sent them off to the playoffs yesterday, so let's take a look how their season's gone. I really have on this trip. Is it me? Is it something I'm missing? We gotta make it work for real. There's nobody in the way. It's gonna be different. We the best music. Another one. job baseball this year we've really gotten close with some of our senior teachers they had a few things they'd love to say to us so the best piece of advice that I can give you is when you're looking for your major or for your career in the future is to do whatever makes you happy because you're going to be doing it for a long time and if you have to go to work and it's something that you dread going to you're not going to be happy so that's why I chose to become a teacher because I love being here and it's not like working it's like living your best life every day best piece of advice is to get out of your comfort zone. Try to do something new that you've never done before. Try to um, maybe go somewhere, travel somewhere you've never been before. Just try to challenge yourself and push yourself to new limits. So my best advice for seniors is to not be afraid of change. You have your whole life ahead of you and you, what you want now might not be what you want in a year or 10 years from now. So don't be afraid of the changes that come along in your life.
my advice to the seniors who are leaving here um, this year is to follow your dreams and make big goals for yourself. Don't fall into the uh, uh, things that may be fun right now but could lead to destruction in the end. Just uh, follow your dreams and don't mess them up. Thank you dearly for all of those sweet messages. Hey Elizabeth, what's gotten you the most scared in your lifetime? Um, probably my mom, I'd have to say. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? Mm, probably roller coasters for me. Okay. Well, let's see how these other people felt about being scared. <laughs> you know I had to double it. Welcome back to Senior Pranks. Today we're going to see if we can scare people. Part 2. She called me Mr. Bombastic. Very fantastic. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. It, it was, was a great time being a dragon. <laughs> hey there, dragon! Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm nearly sad. Heard <laughs> it. Okay, Good okay. night. Thanks, Miss Percy. <laughs> She's amazing. You're the best thing. Okay, okay. well. <laughs> Thanks, Dalton and Court, for those goody goody gumdrop jokes. Give me two. Okay, hold on. Wow. Great job, baseball. We really got to be close with some of the seniors' teachers. Okay. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Great. You ready to get out? Yeah, sure.